we're back, and as promised, we are going to learn so much more about these fascinating creatures, cockroaches. So we're going to start today with um, what I call the most cliche cockroach of all time, the Madagascan hissing cockroach. And let's see, there he goes. We've got some awesome examples of them right here crawling around on us. Yep. So this is one of the largest cockroach species on Earth. Not the biggest. There's a few that get even bigger, but they're very rare and hard to come by. Um, so these are so cliche because we've seen these in pretty much every movie that has insects in it. Um, we've seen them at, you know, at pet shops, zoos, aquariums, everywhere. But they're cliche for good reason. They're one of the most fascinating cockroaches on Earth, not just because of their large size, but because of their biology and where they come from. They're from the island of Madagascar, which is off the coast of southern Africa. And there's a lot of strange things that are unique to Madagascar, such as these guys. So, the one there, do you think it's a boy or a girl? I think this is a male. That's and, right. And I think I know why. Can I share that? Sure. So, <laughs> cockroaches, unlike some of the other arthropods we've learned, are actually pretty durable. But so, you can tell the difference between a male and a female um, hissing cockroach because of these little bumps right here. So, as you can see, um, this one on me here, is a male because he has the little bumps and this one on my shoulder here i believe is a female because she's nice and smooth oh, she's also or that's also a male. oh never mind it's a male <laughs> this, this one's is why a female we have <laughs> the female has very oh. minimal bumps and also her antennae are much thinner they're whoop, oh. not as feathery <laughs> as the male so while arachnids <laughs> are very fragile and we would not like for that to happen with a big tarantula cockroaches and a lot of other insects are super durable and their main defense is to just fall down if they're disturbed and just try to find a dark hiding spot so she's doing that on purpose <laughs> so silly so i feel like we have to address one of the most asked questions about this particular species of cockroach hissing so we've had a beautiful little chorus going over here oh yeah they're very active today will yeah. you tell us a little bit more about why they're named the hissing cockroach because they hiss and why is it that they hiss? And how do they make that sound? Because it can't come from just their tiny little mouths, can it? Nope, it comes from their breathing holes. So all insects have breathing holes along the side of the abdomen. There's a couple uh, on the first segment of the thorax. They're called spiracles or spiracles, different pronunciations, same thing. So uh, they breathe by bringing air directly into their body through a system of trachea that gets smaller and smaller like capillaries and they bring air individually to every cell in the body so they basically skip having a blood system like we do so the oxygen just goes straight to the cells and um, one of the advantages of having spiracles is that you can um, use them as instruments and in this case they have a couple of specialized ones um, on some of the first abdominal segments where they are sculpted in a certain way to where if they compress their bodies, it forces air out of them to make that hissing noise. And it works great for two reasons. One, as a defense, and two, as a intimidation to rivals. So you'll notice that the males are the noisy ones. The female, whoop, sorry, King Grump. His name is King Grump, short for Grumpadarina, the genus they belong to. He's one of the biggest ones we've ever grown here. But the female rarely uses the hissing noise. She'd rather just stay and hide, even though she's capable of doing it. But the males like to use it as intimidation. The, for rival males, they'll use these bumps on the front to kind of headbutt and push each other off of uh, their territory. So uh, that hissing noise, it just comes more natural to the males. They like to do it more. Awesome. So this is an awesome first episode on Madagascar hissing cockroaches. Join us next week, and we're going to dive into some of the lesser known species of cockroaches. I can't wait. Each one is cuter than the last one. Actually, I don't even know how you would categorize which one's the cutest one. Just look at that face. Bye. See you next time.